Now, in this particular question, we're asked to solve the cubic equation, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Now remember, I let f of x equal the cubic expression in the earlier part of this question. And we found out that when you substituted x to be minus 2 into here, we got 0, which meant by the remainder theorem that x plus 2 was a factor of f of x. And it is that that is going to help us solve this equation, knowing that x plus 2 is a factor. So let me just explain then how it's going to help us, because if we know that f of x is now identical to x plus 2 multiplied by another factor, okay, then to get this other factor, which is often called a quadratic factor, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by x plus 2. So this quadratic factor would be identical to f of x divided by x plus 2. And that would help me then factorize f of x. And when I factorized it, I can then go on and solve the equation. So, going back over here then, we need the quadratic factor. So, I'm going to just put a little subtitle here, the quadratic factor. All right. So, for the quadratic factor, all I need to do is divide x plus 2 into the cubic expression here for f of x. x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. And do long division. So, how do we do long division? Well, first of all, just say, what do I multiply x by to get x cubed? And that would be x squared. If I now multiply x squared with the x plus 2 and put the answer underneath here, I get x cubed plus 2x squared. Subtract to work out the remainder. x cubed take away x cubed is nothing. And then you've got to be careful here. Minus 2x squared minus another 2x squared is minus 4x squared. Now bring down the minus 4x and repeat the process all over again. What do you multiply x by to give minus 4x squared? And that's minus 4x, so put that up there. So minus 4x times x then is minus 4x squared. Minus 4x times plus 2 is minus 8x. Subtract once again to find the remainder. Minus 4x squared minus minus 4x squared is nothing. And then you have minus 4x minus minus 8x becomes 4x. Bring down now the 8 and repeat the process all over again. What do you have to multiply x by to give 4x? And that's plus 4. So put that up there. 4 times x, 4x. And then 4 times the plus 2 is plus 8. Subtract to find the remainder. And as hoped, the remainder was 0. 0 because we knew that x plus 2 was a factor of f of x. So what that means now is that therefore f of x is identical to x plus 2 multiplied by the quadratic factor x squared minus 4x plus 4. So I'll just fill that in there. Now we can factorize the quadratic factor. That would be two brackets. So there will be an x there and an x there. And it will be minus 2 and minus 2. So when f of x, let's just put that down, when f of x equals 0, that's the equation up here, we can see that either x plus 2 would equal naught, so therefore x plus 2 would equal naught, or the other factor would equal 0. Well, since we've got a repeated fact here, it just is sufficient to say x minus 2 would equal 0. 
So at the end of the day, we've just simply got the two solutions that therefore x equals minus 2 from this one or x equals 2 from that one. So there's our two solutions for when f of x equals 0. And that brings us now to the end of this question.